Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we break down one of the exciting new features introduced in C++20, the spaceship operator, represented by this symbol. In this video I'll explain what this operator does, how it simplifies comparisons and why it can be a game changer in writing cleaner and more maintainable code. Let's start with a bit of background. The spaceship operator is also known as the freeway comparison operator. Traditional C++ comparisons using operators like less than, greater than and so on often lead to verbose code when implementing sorting algorithms or even basic object comparisons. With the spaceship operator, the language provides a unified way to compare values. It's designed to return a value that clearly indicates whether the left hand side is less than, equal to or greater than the right hand side. When you write an expression like this, the operator evaluates the relationship between the two operands and returns an ordering result. This result is typically one of several types of ordering categories provided by the standard library, such as std strong ordering, std weak ordering, or std partial ordering. Each category informs the user of the precise nature of the comparison. For instance, if the operands are completely ordered with no ambiguity, std strong ordering is returned. Let's think step by step about how this works. Imagine you have two integers. In this case, since 5 is less than 10, the spaceship operator returns a value that indicates the relationship. This single operator replaces several lines of code that you might have otherwise written, like checking for equality first and then comparing which is greater or less. This reduction in verbosity not only makes your code cleaner, but also minimizes the potential for errors. Moreover, the spaceship operator enables the compiler to automatically generate default comparison operators for your user-defined types. By simply marking your class with the appropriate defaulting, you allow the compiler to deduce the proper behavior based on your members. Consider a simple class example. In this example, the operator first compares the x-coordinates. If those are equal, then it moves on to comparing the y-coordinates. This built-in logic streamlines the process of ordering objects. It's intuitive and saves valuable development time. That's it for today's video. I hope you now have a clearer understanding of how the spaceship operator works in C++ and why it's such an important addition to the language. Catch you on the flippity flip!